Mando, Lorian, it's Star Wars, the Western. Here's a man in a Beskar suit who's a walking armory, bounty hunting to just make do in the gig economy. His name is on the show. We know who the star is. Who's puppet who's adorable and green? Turned out to be a tiny cash machine. Through the dustiest worlds he rides, kicking ass and slinging guns like a mystery cowboy type. Hate to say it's all been done. He's just Clint Eastwood with a much sweatier head. These references like no name trilogy go on and on. Like CVS receipts John Wayne as well But that's a deeper one His grandson does A lot of Mando stunts Fun! Plus they did Seven Samurai When they saved the village folk And confirmed that his storyline Is all based on Yojimbo They just ripped off Japan Like the westerns have done too And they did Apollo 13 Chopper shot. That's a reference to humans who failed in space in a show about space, but it's cool. The directors are family. Where is the line between homage and stealing? Even all Firefly had a reference ceiling. One thing I know, thank God for Baby Yoda. Call him Groku, I want. Just want to cuddle him though he partook in a light genocide, it's okay. But it's kinda not. But this whole plagiaristic tropes been in Star Wars since day one. Hidden Fortress inspired new hope. Lucas added laser guns. I guess this is the way. It's parsec for the course part. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to watch another theme song with lyrics video, click the box on the left. Or if you want to watch another Star Wars video, click the box on the right. Anywho, I'm off to rewatch the season 2 finale because, oh my gosh, can you believe that thing happened? It was so crazy. Ah! I haven't seen it, that's why I'm being vague. I'm not spoiling anything. Okay, bye.